Oh hell yeah. PlayStation Plus. Yeah. PlayStation Plus on sale. About 30 quid, isn't it? Yeah. Where was this? Where is this? On the PS4. Is it on the PS4? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. E3 thing. Oh, nice. I'll probably buy that then. Mine runs out soon ish. Death Stranding. I did unsubscribe from the PS now. I haven't done that yet. I wasn't using it. 34.99 instead of 50. I thought it was like 30 flat. somewhere. Down to five seconds. This. Oh. I don't know this map well enough. Fuck. I should not have played Valkyrie. Right. This was dumb. Day of play. I should have looked what games are on sale now. Not just sell. I mean. We can all still remember when PlayStation 1 was free, right? What? PlayStation was what? When PlayStation 1 E3, back in 2013. PlayStation oh. 1 E3 a couple of years. Who the fuck is this shit? Uh, specifically, this. Ooh. This is all. Oh, yeah, that thing. Oh, my God. <laughs> I mean, that was... They... That was just a win. <laughs> I mean, PlayStation pretty much win every year, but that was the year that they, they properly... I mean, that was just a massive fuck you to Microsoft, essentially. I just realised I left the cable, but... No, I actually put it in the end. Yeah. That's fine, I'm going to have to make cables, cut, graphics, Wi-Fi thing. No, that Probably. whole crowd went wild and everyone was just... <laughs> he's just sitting uh -huh. there smug like... I mean... I even... I changed my Steam profile to Papa Tretton. Same tomorrow. Wait, he's in the operations. I'll look at that in a second. I just want to check what games are on sale. Oh, Yakuza 6, Song of Life. Oh, no. I don't want to buy Oh, Just a Cause 3, 4 99 Nice. Oh, Actually, you can probably check if we bought this. I just want to see a Borderlands 3 release. Oh yeah, Borderlands. This is looking... Alfred 5 is looking nice. Yeah. I it thought it was going to be... No, it basically just is a modern game. Because the difference between like modern weapons... Because the difference between World War 1 weapons and World War 2 weapons was like... So yeah. much. That's why Call of Duty knew it couldn't go World War 1. Because of what ball action. Yeah. I do like the new revive system. The new revive system is nice. Yeah. In what thing? Battlefield. You can revive any teammate no matter what class. But if if you are not playing the medic, it does take a little bit longer than normal. But you can still have people. And they all have an animation now as well, so it's not just you randomly defib someone and then cheese yourself to the max level on Battlefield 3 like someone in this one did. Um. Ed. Hey. Oh, I Ed wasn't the only one. <laughs> I remember I first played with Michael. I threw down the mid bag and I got on the top of the team. Wait, and I that, just like uh, that was a point. Because the entire level. game, everyone, yeah, it was on the subway level. Yeah. Everyone was standing. They were standing the down that hallway, the lobby main, and they were all just not dying, but they take a bunch of damage. Hey, you can do it in two classes. You chuck the ammo bag down there, you get shit tons too. Good old operation <laughs> metro. <laughs> And the fucking like drones you could jump on and fly I up. I remember banning Connor and Michael from my Battlefield server. That was the highlight of my life. Oh yeah, I remember fucking running a server with Michael. Gets more hate mail than I ever imagined. Mm, I didn't get any hate mail. My, my literal thing was just to don't use USAS frag rounds and when we banned everything else is free game. And then Connor and Michael came in and used USAS frag rounds and thought I wouldn't ban them. They got banned so fucking quickly, it was beautiful. Mm -hmm. The most broken thing in the game. It's the only broken thing in that game. Yeah. Just and, and the one 
like some Battlefield 3 where like if you want to do the animation like the what is it? Is it the animation? Yeah, the animation when you stab someone. You could only be one on one server, one on a server at a time because they didn't have the capabilities. No. So if you tried to fucking melee someone, I fucking yeah, got knife in the battlefield, and I don't know why. It's because you get like I think it's Battlefield 3. I don't think they've done it in the others where you, if you went on your stats, you'd still have the dog tag for everyone you knife. Oh yeah. Is that still there? Yeah. Yeah, that was a kind of cool thing. Three was by far the one I played the most. So. Yeah, I played that the most. I played, I played like eighty hours of three. But I played like two hundred hours of four. Yeah, Battlefield Five is looking good. To be fair. Trouble is, um. I'm always wary when watching Jack Frags because he is very good at them. So I'm like, oh yeah, this looks so good. And then I play it and I'm just like, oh shit. I suck at, <laughs> at first-person shooters. You definitely do. Well, I don't suck at them, but I just don't put as much time into them as Jack Frags does. So he just knows what he's doing. Yeah. RP sensor deployed. I don't know, Tom. You seem really fast in the last powerful game I played with you. Speedy! Had really good accuracy the last time I played Battlefield 4. Like, what are you talking about? 142 kills to 4 deaths is not <laughs> sketchy. How did you Just die? because Sam. How did That's I die? Um, I'm pretty sure because Sam um, threw grenades at me in front of the fire was on or something like that. I know when you was doing that and I dropped a AK drop on you. <laughs> or like the commander's chair. Yeah. Uh, and then Sam reported me and I got back. Good old Sam. <laughs> My only kill that game was with a fucking Semtex C4. I can't believe Sam actually reported you. That's gonna make me laugh. That sounds like good old Sam, man. I mean, it's not like I was I was making out that I'm some great player. I was I was clear that I was hacking, and I was doing it because fuck it, why not? It's fun. Mm -hmm. I just couldn't take it. Because back then he was a battlefield fuck boy, and he was just like, oh my god, can I I'm ruining my game, boys? Isn't he still a battlefield? Oh no, now he's a beat saber nah. fuck boy. Hey. He hasn't even brought Battlefield 1. He said he was going to and never actually brought it. That's why I'm really glad I didn't buy it on PC. No offense, Tom. None taken. Why, wait, why would I be offended? Because I told you I was going to buy it on PC and I bought it on PlayStation. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what the fuck would I care? Buy it on whatever you want. Brought on Buy it on Nintendo DS if you want. Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> You'd you like fucking can drop you? on him. No. No. Yes, kid, on the 3DS XL. though. 3DS is a different story, Mitchell. Let's go Wii U though. Oh, there's so many operators. Oh, there's not, if one's got a squid symbol in the next one, boys. Hentai? Yeah, looks like it. Nice. What do these new fucks do? Detects enemy movement providing an overview on the battle for that looks aids. Nanobots as a team brief in HP and revives enemy. Oh, <laughs> these new characters look cancer. Not of these, I know. Well, not still fucking twenty-five. Yeah. Yep, they're all stupidly expensive still. Hey, Ed. Hey. You should come back to Sainsbury's. Yeah? The, uh, the butch lesbian. He's no longer a team leader. What is she oh, now? Oh, my sister bombed into Craig, I think is the manager's name. Craig. Is that the male manager's name? Uh, my male manager is Harry, but there is someone that works in the department called Craig. Why? Craig. Because April was saying that, oh, the guy who works at Craig was saying how, when I was working there, uh, everyone thought I was the rudest cunt there. You are rude. I was like, what? <laughs> I don't even know this man. I only had female, like, managers. I mean, there is someone that works there, but he's, he's not a manager. Yeah, everyone's saying how rude I was. I was like, fuck to off. To be you are a giant cunt, mate. Yeah, apparently... It, Maybe I said, oh, you never said thank you for anything. 
anything. I, was, I don't fucking remember not saying thank you for things. And like, oh, someone held the door open Wait. for the freezer. And I didn't say thank you, so I'm the rudest guy ever, even though I'm pretty sure I did. Oh, well, look, the, I mean, the only thing that really I know that really happened is that you just got a bollocking every single day. So, Ed, your IPH is shit. Pick it up. Thank you. I will. Thank you. Yeah. I'm sorry. My fucking month of don't worry, we won't disturb you. We let you get used to it every day. Oh, you're not doing fast enough. Oh, you're still not going fast enough. Yeah, but they've increased the AE of the uh, target now. It's now 142. Yeah. And um, I'm getting it because I got like 200 and 140 today. Or something. Well, on the last two I did, I got 166 and 144, and then they still complained I wasn't going fast enough. Yeah. And no one knows like... shit, though, about yeah. the, the IPH anyway. Everyone knows it's bullshit. Yeah. We finish at half seven every day anyway. <laughs> What's the fucking point? It's a half seven. Yeah, usually. I mean, yeah. it's we finished at yeah about or twenty two, twenty two eight. We finished today I'm on a jobs Saturday. That Not on my department, though. No, but yeah. there are there are some going on the, the customer service assistant in the cafe. Uh, yeah. Go look at the slaughterhouse. Yeah, it's fucking. Uh, I didn't. I haven't told you this. I got offered an apprenticeship. Oh, no another one? Ah, yeah, that. an actual They're one. They're rolling in. Yeah, an actual apprenticeship. They said, oh, right. do you want to work for us, the full-time apprentice? Take it. Oh, well, no, you should do. Why not? Why don't you take it? Because I thought it was like a food packing factory. And they go, oh yeah, we do everything. And then I walked in, they go, oh, there's even an hour and a half tour. And then you see a lorry turn on a bunch of fucking pigs. You can then watch them guide him into Whoa, this, like, factory. Got cops? What? What? Big cops. Oh. And then it's like, oh, this is the carousel, like a theme park. So what we do is, we put them on, and then you watch the metal plate shunt them all, they all fall over screaming. Locate in, the biohazard container. Into, like, this metal box, and then they go, oh yeah, we're gonna fucking kill them with CO2 carousel. And I was like, oh, fucking brilliant, mate. What did, like, some warning. How did you think you got your pork head? Did you think yeah, it just fucking appeared? The factory was, says they pack and food, they don't actually fucking butcher it, and this entire the whole thing is butchering them. Oh, they've made a big update to they, the uh, camera shit. Like, stick swings to them, they slit the dead thing's throat, and then there's like dangling in front of us, and it's blood splash. And then the and they, like, did, they didn't warn you that you were walking into a slaughterhouse. No, they said, oh, we're going on a quick tour around the factory. And they go, oh, yeah, here's where we watch the pigs. Like, or did you just, like, you just walk out? No, I was, they fucking had my, like, they asked my phone. So I, I didn't take any, as soon as, like, oh, don't take pictures of the machinery and stuff. It's private. Then they said, oh, we'll take your passport while you're going on a quick tour. And then in two different places. And I was like, oh, there's them butchering a pig. Oh, this is where we slit their throats. And then this is where we boil the skin. And then when this is where we burn them, this is where we cut them in half. And then you have to walk past all the, like, the hanging pigs with like tendons dangling around. Sounds good to me. What's the problem? What? And it's like. Oh yeah, you they'll walk around the factory for an hour and a half, but now we're butchering these pigs. Biohazard mm. Why not me? I didn't want that. I'll be down at work though. Again, yeah, I probably wouldn't care. No, I couldn't give a shit. Dead animal is a dead animal at this point. Yeah, that's what I thought. Well, yeah, well, yes, but it's a bit different I'm... if Ed, Ed wasn't signing up to watch them be slaughtered. Yeah, yeah, yeah I assume it was just. just I've... What's the place called? I fucking. I don't even remember now. It's. Oh, shit. Well, what? I can't wait. Uh, he's, gonna, he's gonna give us the place. We're gonna Google it. It's Slaughterhouse like... Limited. <laughs> Literally. Uh, is that it? Uh. CCFN. Human resources, that's the email gone. Uh, Green switch. Yeah. Still realize. Green switch, see if I can find it. I'm pretty sure. I'm assuming it's probably as almost to see it. I can imagine. Big old rains with. 
Oh, Cran Cranswick Country Foods Norfolk. Uh, yeah, this is it. Yeah. Yeah, I assume it's just like a factory. I'm guessing it's here somewhere, but didn't see it and then didn't see it. What was it? Was it like factory training for ordinators? No, it was an apprentice mechanical apprenticeship, so I assumed it was like working on like packing machinery, like conveyor belts and stuff. It's like packing meat, but the entire all the machinery was just killing the fucking pigs and a couple guys like cutting out the organs and slitting their throats. Hmm. Like, that's kind of. That's yeah, there's, I, I can't. I can't see anything here that indicates that it's a slaughterhouse. Yeah, I didn't see that. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, yeah. they should have at least given you an idea. They should have at least said, well, like, in the email. You can kind of see it's part of the slaughterhouse if you scroll down and look at the uniforms they're wearing. None of them look factory worker uniforms. They're all wearing white overalls, and half of them are wearing aprons that butchers wear. Yeah, but that's not as that. If, if, yeah, but I got that. No one was wearing that anyway. They're all wearing like hair nets, I mean, full face masks, some blood getting all over them. What about on the website? If you're on the website, they look for the apprenticeship. You got to like. Yeah, but they just look like butchers. There's a difference between being a butcher and actually working in the slaughterhouse where they slit their throats. Yeah, I know, but. Come on, Ed. What's wrong with you? Ed was working. He was, thought he was working at a food packing thing, and instantly, all I see on that site is butchery. Wait, why did you go through an apprenticeship at a? Because I'm literally applying for. What are they teaching? What are they teaching? It would be a man of food. No, it's it'd be a mechanical engineering apprentice. So it'd be the lecturer of mechanical engineering. Well, it was just a one-click apply. Then, yeah, I'm, I'm sure I just probably must have missed it, but I it think just what I got there was a lorry full of fucking pigs. Every time I speak to you, the jobs you've applied for get sketchier and sketchier. Yeah. <laughs> no. I mean, Ed, what do you do? I work in the waste management business. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't turn up to that interview. He didn't have that the room. Room. We need to protect the bio. What like a bin man, like it was a waste disposal thing. Yeah, he didn't show up to the interview. Because they got yeah, could... offered a, a laboring job. If it is a, if it is a bin man, good move. Wouldn't recommend yeah, no. yeah, yeah, that's it. Great job. Would not recommend. Yeah. I've only heard good things from Mitchell. Yeah. Were you a bin man? It was good, wasn't it, Mitchell? No. You had a really great time. You learned so much. Your feet were fine. They're, they're still fucked, Tom. Dead, <laughs> I can literally... Seriously? With one oh, that's foot. not being a bin man's fault. Let's put that out there. That's not being a bin man's fault that his feet are fucked. Ah, uh, kind of. No, that's your fault for taking on the job that you knew was going to take a lot of walking. I know it'd be a lot of walking. I didn't realise it'd be that much running. Oh, you didn't really? No. Yeah, they fast as fuck, yeah. boys. <laughs> I know it'd be, I know it'd be a lot of walking, Ollie. That I can do. Oh, Unless I you think they labouring, I've still got fucking bruises all over my arms, just fucking like moving stuff. I like, didn't fall over. They just fucking exhaust me. So that's not that's that's not the bin man's job's fault. That's you not anticipating what's going to happen. No, the, the, happen. No, the feet was the shoes. Ah, they didn't move. Why? Uh, health and safety. What, you won't like to steal toe caps? Yeah. But they wouldn't let you buy your own steel toe caps, they have to be company issued steel toe caps. Oh, that's fucking weird. Did they check? What? Yeah. Did they check that you're. Yeah. They checked that you're wearing. Oh my god. Well, they just. They hit his feet with a hammer. Why? But they didn't check you. They didn't fucking smash your toes in. No, they checked you were wearing the brands. <laughs> 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 The fucking, the other, there's only one other guy for that fucking what, interview. What I'm assuming, And he was Tom, saying how he thought... That they had they, a brand like, deal with whatever the company was. To try and get them cheaper, so you like had to wear it so that you're showing off their product mm -hmm. or whatever the fuck. I'm just wondering why you had to wear 
I mean, the only thing I can think of is the truck running over your foot. I mean, you, know, you drop a bin on your foot. Oh no. I'm still getting fucking emails for that really sketchy fucking place I went earlier where they wanted a week's worth of free labor. Still getting. Oh yeah. It's a family run farm. Yeah, Pace Mechanical Handling Limited. Friendly last operator standing. Email, no, there's like emails like on from like the Indeed emails they're getting like sent. Them to do one. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. That place actually smelled fucking worse than the fucking butchers. All the fucking dead hanging pigs and the dry blood everywhere. Ah, oh, it doesn't even go through the dead cameras anymore. Nice. Oh, I fucking get three kills in the round and we still lose. You didn't get like six. Five. So, Ed. You need six skills. Yourself and all the hostage. Stop Where on. else have you applied for, Ed? Ah, uh, just a bunch of places. Honestly, I don't care, just get any job now. Hey, apply, fucking Ed, waste his face. I don't know if I'm French, dude. So it's fine for any job at this point. Someone's getting annoyed with me. Why? Because I don't have a job. Job searching mm. is suck, dude. Even though I said I, I can pay you rent if you want, he's like, no, I don't want you to pay rent. I just want you to have a job. Customer assistant job going at Sainsbury's, or not Sainsbury's, sorry, Tesco's. Uh, grocery colleague going in Asda. Customer assistant in Boots. Customer assistant in being Q. Customer assistant by the so I can see Ed doing that. <laughs> he wants any job. Mate, that job would probably be legit 90% hot women. But I've... What? Have, have you been, been in boots? Yeah, yeah, first gonna stay. Have you been in boots? I gotta win there, cause I got my third eyes itchy. <laughs> <laughs> Need some lotion for her. Okay, the shop floor assistant in Asda. Okay, have you been on Indeed, Ed? Team member at Greg? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 he's been on, he's been on Indeed, but remember, Tom, we have this conversation every time it brings up Ed's jobs, and I don't think we need to ever mention it again. Ten seconds to go. What's he goes for all, all eggs in one basket, right, every right. time. No, 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 he puts all his eggs into one, like, area, so, like, he's just going for all mechanical engineering jobs or anything to do with uh, engineering or electrics. That's not what I'm I'm not doing that anymore. Right. I haven't been doing that for a while, to be honest. It's just this one I can't want, I'm just doing it in the meantime. <laughs> On that page, I can see four, five jobs that are all just general assistants, which are piss easy. That you can apply yeah. for. Uh, customer assistant. I'm trying for that one. How likely are you to recommend a need to a friend? I think I just did that. No, you didn't. You didn't recommend. You just sent. Sorry. <laughs> I uh, don't see you. See, so look all these shit oh, Absolutely. <laughs> what do you want? To, do you want to become a wedding coordinator? Yes. <laughs> no, because you just shove all the little kids in one little corner. Mad. Delivery expert <laughs> for Domino's Pizza. Oh, actually, I probably that earlier. <laughs> delivery, what? An, an expert? Yeah, an You're expert delivery. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fleeing pizzas across the Berlin. It's through the letterbox. Well, I'm down. Domino's get a delivery man. I'm down. <laughs> they haven't had a delivery man for like two years. No, I found Ed's job. Infantry soldier for the army. I didn't know it was Harry. Maybe. So, how many dicks does he accept then? Uh, I work or check the bio container. Stop securing the container. Um, just, just a general figure overall. General figure. Bacon's dozen every week. He's probably done. done. So wait, was Harry gay? Super gay, yes. He was always one of the mysteries. Whether or not you could pull him. Oh. I could pull him, Mitchell. <laughs> <laughs> that was never the mystery. <laughs> that was never up for debate.
Yeah, so... Right, well, I said I was going half an hour ago, and... Get yeah, boy. Whoa, son, I'm trying to help you get some money in your pocket. I don't even want the money. It's just... Well, I'm on a job for that. Yeah. I, I, I don't... Like, I was looking for an apprenticeship, Mom's like, you need a job. I was like, why do I need a job? Because yeah, you need to earn money. Like, I don't need money. If you want money, I'll pay you a savings or something. How much savings yeah. you got? Barricade the world. Not a lot, but at least it's... I'm all honest. It's like... I won't complain. I'll pay you my savings. How much savings you got? Well, about that. When I, say, when I say I'll pay you my savings... Well, April doesn't pay anything. And she's had a job for like four years. For rent. It's because she's all poor. Yeah. yeah, but that's just because she flips out. Yeah. It's because your mum likes her more than you. She's fucking... Uh, the other day, she was fucking going mental. She was fucking like, for like three hours, crying up his house. Like, I don't even feel like a part of this family. I feel like an outsider. <laughs> it's, family. It's, it's because she fucking wants a bunch of stuff for free. And then when asked, mom's like, just clean up your dirty knickers off your floor. It's like, you fucking hate me. No one loves me. It's like, just pick up your fucking scuzzy undies. Please! No, what your mum should have done is when she's like, I feel like an outsider, what she should no, no, pushed her out the door. Now you're an outsider! And closed it and locked it. <laughs> closed it, locked it. Changed the locks. Changed the locks. <laughs> Move out! I did that before. We lived in the school for a couple of weeks, though, months. Oh, what, when she was like, I'm, I'm moving out, I can't stand it. Yeah, like, oh, she said mum kicked her out. Well, all it was is mom's. She was like, "Fuck!" She tried to punch mom, so mom like pushed her up to the door, and it was open or something. She's like, "Oh, you pushed me out!" And then she's like, "Well, all she did was stay in it." So when she got to the university, she said, "Oh, she's in a squat, so she gets a better or more money out of it." Hmm. Playing the system. I don't understand. No one stand up to your sister. She does. But she got bipolar. And She's depression. still working at that fucking grasshopper place or whatever it's called. On the guy I'm playing. She technically was, but she works at the Wimpy now. Just because, like, oh, the guys. The, yeah, the people who, like, ran that, the grasshopper, I was fucking the dragonfly. And, like, the people, no, they didn't really like it at all. What a surprise! So, yeah, well. <laughs> well, who <laughs> <laughs> saw that coming? I'll never so be then, surprised. Yeah, she's on a zero contract, they just hired a bunch more people, and then they just never gave her any shifts. So she's still technically a worker? And I think I think she technically has quit now, but they're still over like 70 hours. Of like pay. 70 hours? Oh, not 70 hours, 70 pounds. Okay. okay. Yeah. Slightly, okay, now slightly different. <laughs> One's like a couple of grand, the other one is 70 pounds. Yeah. That's because she's got bipolar and depression, but she doesn't do anything about it. Mate, what's, what's, what's the point? I've got, not... I've got crippling depression. Mm. Yeah, but that's just you can't get your dick wet. Hey, I shower like two times a day, we don't go. Oh, right, yeah. That's, that's a waste. Two times a day. Just, I mean, you can't just let her rule your life, even if she's bipolar and depressed. Uh, I don't let her rule my life, she just stresses mom out all the time. Which stresses you out? Uh, it is stresses me out, because mom fucking, like, gets pissy at her, and then she, like, like, rolls it off onto me. Moon it at me. Yeah. So what you should do is just literally go to your sister's room, be a senseless and say if you actually do anything like that again, I'll do it, but harder. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> no, she already fucking keeps me raping her. If she won't leave my room and pay a net for Do it. So, do no, it. I'm not, I'm, I'm not gonna say that. I'm not saying that. Right? Right? <laughs> fucking say it! You've don't be accused. What's the worst that can happen? Yeah. Just fucking You've been it. accused of the crime. Fucking do it. <laughs> 